Yes, we need to just do this thing quickly. We don't have much time, but we must do it. This is the second time this is happening in quick succession. There's such darkness in the land, there's such, such gross darkness on the people. You see, when we see this, what comes to our mind is end time, right? Mm. That's the first thing that comes to our mind in the end time. That means there are challenges on the family mountain. Families are under attack. You see, that's a product of... Wow. It's become evident for all to see. You see, it's become evident for all to see how that the human family has taken such a hit. And... Um, it, it has never been a, 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 a better time to reveal the true essence of the church. Um, the true essence of the church. Who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth? You see, Jesus looked at us and sent us out to preach the gospel to every creature. We are sent here to give a clear witness to Jesus, the light of the world. I want to remind us i want to use this medium to place a call to the church of jesus christ without any attempt to sound confrontational i want us to realize that we the church of jesus christ the prophetic dimension called the church is the biggest thing that will happen these end times so when we see all these things happening is a call to action for us to get into the free and begin to manifest jesus the christ you see, it is important for us to realize that Jesus is the light of the world. In other words, Jesus aptly said that so long as he is in the world, he is the light of the world. That's John chapter 9 verse 5. It means his presence in the world is meant to determine the conduct of men. The works of darkness will should not happen because he is present. You see, these things that are happening in our society, we just had two in the family mountain within the last two months. It is a call to the church to realize that in this present structure, we've not been able to give this witness to Jesus as the light of the world. Hello. And there is a responsibility on our shoulders to begin to preach. When I mean preach, I mean to practice and teach this gospel of the kingdom it's very important that we embrace this prophetic responsibility because uh, there's little or much on or nothing that will happen to the world if we don't affect this prophetic expectation that god has for the world through the ministry of jesus in the church the bible says that in in, in isaiah chapter 2 verse 3 that in the last days it shall come to pass in the latter days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established at the tops of the mountains. It says, all nations shall flow into it. They will say, come ye, teach us your ways that we may walk in it. The Bible went on to say that out of Zion shall go forth the law and the judgment shall come out of Jerusalem. See, we must begin to wake up to this prophetic responsibility to begin to disciple the nations in the discipline of Christ. And a nation has to do with systems and institutions, and the family system is one of them. There is this, there is the solution, the rest is in the church. We must begin to pull down our present selfish structures and begin to reach out, out of our trenches. We must begin to reach out with revelation after revelation, programs after programs, institutions after institution, to ensure that we can salvage something out of the earth. You see, uh, the, the, the earth in its present state has not lot much longer to hold on. And God is waiting for us. We don't have much to do but to depend on the Holy Spirit because Jesus has planned that saviors will rise up upon Mount Zion. Saviors that will reign on the mountains of Esau. There is some kingdom out there to make for our God. 
And that's why he has put, put us there. That's why he has given us this anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's why he has given us this gift. This that is happening in the world is a challenge for us to put on Christ and begin to bring Christ to the free. Be inspired people. God bless you.